Galway leading Tipperary by 13 points to one goal and nine. That's a look at the scores as they have come in what has for sure been a hectic first half. And I defy anybody to pick who's going to be in the All-Ireland Final from this semi at this stage. Cyril Farrell, Joe Lachnan and Liam Sheedy with me here in the studio. <laughs> I got nothing. Uh, <laughs> there's a the card right there, yeah? I don't mind. <laughs> I, I have to pick it in. <laughs> you're safe, you're safe. Passes along here. Yeah, no, cracking first half, you know, and, and I, you know, the, the start the tip got, they would have been very, very happy. I mean, I mm. spoke before the match about getting the goal early. They raced into a 1 1 to no score lead, and it was five minutes before Galway actually got a score. But slowly but surely, Galway had been coming back into the game and they've kept taking it over. But like the intensity and the hits and the effort that's been put in from both sides, it really is a joy to watch. Yeah. And like, you, know, it really, you know, both teams are putting their, their heart on the line here in this game. And I think it's also been added that there's a massive crowd out here. You know, the yeah. atmosphere in the, in the, in the stadium is, is phenomenal. So like, there's, there's a huge amount to like here. And you can see here, like, the one thing, it, it reminds me of you know, Larry Corbett and he said, you try and isolate one on one. And mm. here you have Seamus Callan, you know, isolated one on one. Gets in, you know, Carl Mannion, in fairness, broke a bit of ash and all, but didn't stop him catching the ball and a great finish. But like, the, what the, the one thing I would say is in that first half is that when Tip have managed to isolate Seamus Callan and get quality ball in front of him, like, it's undefendable. In fairness to Carl Mannion, you can't defend when you're one on one either. So well, they'll need to be very careful, I think, in that regard, because if they leave him one on one, he will get another well, goal. Well, I was going to say, Ger, you know, it's one thing knowing what he can do, what Seamus Callan can do, it's another thing actually trying to stop him doing yeah, it. Yeah, but uh, hold it now a second, I tell you. Uh, Galway adapted very, very, very quickly. To give Mannion his due, he has played really, really well. You know, under, under the balls after that, he was very, very good. Now, the diagonal ball is catching them out, but the Galway backs are cleaning out the Tipperary backs in the air. They are the Tipperary forwards in yeah. the air. They are absolutely dominant there. And when they break forward, they break forward with great purpose and with great teamwork. You know, and they outscored, they have outscored Tipperary by 13 points to eight mm. since that mm. first minute. So mm -hmm. they are really, really back in the game. And their confidence is back up now. The Canlon scores have really dried up. Now, it, you know, it's very much reliant on Canlon because Bubbles, Bannon Maher, uh, all the rest of inside O'Mara, they're all been, been very, very well held. And right now, you'd have to say, Galway are in the ascendancy. The problem is, can they keep it up? Sir, what do you think? Yeah, like it's a big problem in the sense like the boys are coming out the field a good bit, Cannon's inside in his own. Even the first goal, Mannion being kind of raw enough full back, he went to pull. Like it's a regular full back there, just kind of go stop it, bring it down to the ground. Because if you catch it fine, but if you don't, mm -hmm. you're cleaned. And it looks dicey every time. Which I'd have to say they've come back into the game. Now they've got some great hits, body tackles going all over the place. As, like as Liam said, they're really putting, everyone put their heart on the line and they're, they're flying around the place, scores coming everywhere. But like every time the ball goes into the goal full back line, it looks, it looks kind of dangerous. Now, 50 minutes ago, they have dropped back a bit deeper. Tanny's gone back deeper, coming into the game a bit, and they're playing with only five men up front. Like, they'll be happy at halftime in the sense that they came back from the dead. Tipper won't and what happened. Because look in the first half, you'd have to say when Tipper scored, they were actually scoring easier than Galway. Galway yeah, yeah. are working hard. They had kind of overlaps, putting in the tackles. Tipper scoring easier. But like, Galway will be happy, even if they're only two or three downs after, they're happy going in because they were out the game. The first two minutes looked like they were going to be lost, but they've come right back into it. But a lot of the secret of that as well was the Tipperary outfield players, especially Woodlock, they were able, they had time on the ball to give this diagonal ball mm, in front of the mm. cannon. Now since then, the Galway half forward line are working really, really hard. And the quality ball is going in, it's often high ball going in now, very predictable ball going in. Now, the secret to Galway is that half forward line and that midfield closing down the ball going yeah, in. Yeah. And if, if they keep up the way they've been doing it in the last 20 minutes, then they have a real, real chance. We're only 35 minutes away from knowing who will join Kilkenny in this year's All-Ireland because you could be heading off to Australia. All right, Sir Farrell, Tip got the goal in that first half, but Galway had their chances of a goal as well. The first of those came when Galway got the penalty. Let's see what you made of the penalty, first of all. Yeah, Sir Donald was cutting through a high ball up here along the, you know, coming right in. Now, Galway are fairly good in there. This ball breaks here. Tip backs with this. Joe Cannon has been bottled up. It's a flick through. Here's Donald going through. Been tackled here and he's kind of brought down to the ground. I think there wasn't much debate, it was a penalty. But like, uh, when, when you look at it here, you can see it again. Someone said he pulled the jersey. It wasn't much there and he pulled the jersey, but here's where he's been tackled around the shoulder. Mm. So Joe steps up to this now. And like, again, this is a big talking point, one to one. But to me, like, if you're going to score that penalty, Michael... Where was the foul though, sorry? Was it outside? Yeah. Well, it's going to be there. Well, now it's... Yeah. yeah, so much for Galway. Look, he takes it well. 
but he needs to hit that off the ground. It's a good, fairly good shot, but Leeson makes a nice save. But Michael, the score actually to bounce it in front of the goalie. That was never going to be Darren Leeson. So he'd be quite happy. Again, the goalie is a good keeper, like, but I, I, need I, to think, bounce I, I think it's I think it's actually fascinating. It was easier to score a goal than it was about ten well, people I, know, goal. I, yeah. thought, I thought Sarah said they'd all be scored. <laughs> well, <laughs> if, they're, if they're hit, you'll really admit now, it was it was hit well enough. It should have been hit off the ground. Like it makes a hero of the goalie. You know what I mean? You don't see men them hit it on the ground in front of the goalie, that's the best chance of scoring. He hit no it to the right side. He did uh, he to bring yeah. the hurley across, yeah, all right. Mm. He didn't hit it hard enough. No. Well, that. Galway didn't get the goal, uh, and they didn't get the next one they got, although I suppose maybe Liam, this is more about the save that uh, well, Darren Gleeson actually made, and this one was a great save. Yeah, it is, but you know, there was a goal scored in the minor match. I think, you know, you need to get back to trying to hit the ground, you know. I mean, at, at that height, these keepers are exceptional shot stoppers, you know. Like, I couldn't get over the amount of time that Cahill Mannion got here, mm. but, you know, again, he's, he's, he's a good distance out, you know, he had a chance to steadily set himself, but, you know, you can see Darren Leeson, like, that's, that's a wonderful save, that's, that's a top-class save, and, you know, saves like that, I mean, if either one of those goals can, uh, had to yeah. go in, can you imagine yeah. the impetus that Cahill oh, yeah. would have got, you know, so, I mean, really, in essence, those two saves have very much kept tipping in, in the game, uh, especially the way Galway have finished that first half. And it also shows the difference in Galway today, you know. After so, by the way, Liam, for Tipperary. Shane Burke. That's Shane right. Burke, yeah. yeah. After suffering the soccer blow of the goal in the pint earlier on, they came back, a penalty, and almost another goal, you know. So, the way they have settled since the goal is really, really encouraging. And, but, you know, the ten minutes after half time, that is the time now that the battle for supremacy will be. And whoever gets on top then, you will fancy them If Galway will get a goal, early on. Over 58,000 people here for this match. Time for us to return to the...